guys welcome back to my channel this is my 34 week pregnancy update i am so excited i have made it to 35 weeks um, most babies survive at this point with possibly a short NICU stay or no NICU stay at all so it just feels so good to have gotten to this point in my pregnancy knowing that baby girl could come at any time and be perfectly healthy so I'm super super excited about that and um, I'm going to share with you the um, q and I usually do um, for my 34th week of pregnancy so per usual I'm going to read off my phone because that is where I've been keeping all my notes and it keeps me organized um, because I tend to go off on tangents if I don't have this list so um, pardon me for looking at my phone. Um, so my 34 week update, I'll go ahead and jump right into it. So the first question is always weight gain. Um, so I did go to the doctor this past Tuesday and they measured my weight and weight gain was another four pounds. So I am gaining two pounds a week regularly now and I am just there's nothing I can do about it. Um, so that is still happening. Um, maternity clothes. Yes, I'm definitely wearing maternity clothes. However, the shirt that I'm wearing today is not maternity. I'll show you when I show you my bump. Um, it's just a long sweater. Um, so I am wearing non-maternity clothes too, but definitely in maternity clothes. <laughs> Um, stretch marks. No, still no stretch marks. I'm so fortunate. Um, I really hope they don't creep up on me at the last minute. Um, but if they do, they do. Uh, so my symptoms, we'll go ahead and jump right into those because there's tons of symptoms. Um, I like to kind of recap over the symptoms that I've been having and then tell you some new ones. So, um, it's still hard to breathe and lately it's been even harder to like catch my breath, like get a good deep breath, almost like I need to yawn or something. And I'm not really sure what that's about, but um, I might need to ask my doctor about it. Um, but I've heard a lot of pregnant women talk about that as they get further into their pregnancy. You just run out of room. Your body is just to its limit with baby. <laughs> um, so indigestion has been getting worse. That's another thing in pregnancy as the baby gets bigger. It's just, maybe it's hormones too, but um, indigestion is definitely winning. <laughs> um, I'm definitely eating Tums. I'm eating like the max amount of Tums you can have in a day. Um, so yeah, I definitely have indigestion, heartburn. Um, I haven't had the tailbone pain. That's been really nice. Um, and I'm just like really tired and exhausted um, really easily. Um, and basically I'm ready for bed by like eight o'clock at night. Um, I really start to just not be able to do a whole lot at the end of the day. Um, and then of course I'm peeing all the time, which is just pregnancy. I mean, that's been a symptom for a while. Um, I still do get the tightening in my lower belly. Um, I'm not sure if you would call that Braxton Hicks, but I think that's what it is. Um, so I am um, definitely feeling that mainly when I am walking a lot and moving around a lot like if I'm cleaning my house or grocery shopping or something like that I'll get um, some tightness in my belly um, I haven't had any of the rib pain anymore um, it's really just been a lot of the baby just like digging her feet into my ribs um, <laughs> but I haven't had the like weird nerve pain that I was having before. Um, and then I'm just achy, honestly, my whole body kind of hurts. I'm just, it's really not as bad as it sounds maybe. Um, but I definitely have to rest. Like my body just hurts. Like my back just feels tired. I can just tell that my body is tired of carrying this weight. Um, and I think that, you know, your hormones with everything loosening up to prepare for labor, I think it just makes your joints and everything just a lot, um, achier. Um, so that's, that's been fun. <laughs> 
Um, and then this week I have had the biggest increase in my appetite. This entire pregnancy, I really haven't had many cravings, but this week I have been so hungry and just craving awful, awful stuff. Like, I mean, real bad. So the things that I've been craving are going to come later, I'll tell you. Um, but I've had insomnia in the middle of the night around three the last few nights because of the hunger. I wake up and I just want to eat and drink a bunch of water. And I mean, I'm just letting myself because I feel like, you know, I only have a few weeks left and if it makes me gain extra weight, whatever, if, but I'd rather, you know, listen to my body and give the baby what she needs. If, if I need more calories or whatever, um, because I really haven't increased my calorie intake too much. I've just been trying to like listen to my body and eat when I feel hungry. So, um, the other night I made the mistake of just drinking a protein smoothie for dinner and I woke up starving in the middle of the night, like ready to eat like a full course meal. <laughs> so that is new. Um, and then of course I've been thirstier since last week. Um, and then I'm having a hard time understanding if I'm hot or cold. Um, you know, it's winter and the weather keeps fluctuating here and um, you know, my house will be like 69 degrees and I'm thinking it's like 75 in here. So I think I'm getting hot. Um, but I think that's a hormonal thing as well. Um, I haven't had any leaking boobs lately. That was only the one time. Um, so that's been fine. Um, and then as you saw in last week's video, I did a little clip of me trying to get out of my bed and put my shoes on and things like that. Um, which I'll do another one of those. Maybe I'll do those like every other week. Um, I just don't have time today because it's Friday and we actually have somewhere to go. Oh, sorry, my dog has a dog toy that sounds like a pig. Belle, come here, baby. Um, so, anyway, so it has been harder and harder to get in and out of bed and just everything's just getting harder. Like, every day it seems like um, just doing basic things like um, bathing and getting in and out of bed and putting my shoes on and cleaning the house it's just all of the bending and everything has been um, just a lot harder um, and then I haven't had any more anxiety I know I had a little bit of anxiety a couple weeks ago but honestly lately I've been really excited about baby and not really scared or fearful about anything. Um, a couple weeks ago I was having like kind of anxiety in the middle of the night and I think I was like subconsciously like um, having some fears about just everything that's coming and um, I really got over that pretty quick. I prayed through it and it went away. Um, and lately I've just been super excited and now that I go to the doctor every week, I'm just super excited about progression and everything and knowing that all of these symptoms that I'm feeling are going to be gone soon and I'm going to have this precious little baby so it makes it all worth it. Um, so the other symptom I'm having is still the lightning crotch which is called lightning when the baby drops. Um, it just means that baby is really low and hitting your cervix and I'm really hoping that it means that she is progressing me. Um, I told my doctor about that on Tuesday and she said that she was excited to check me next week because she's hoping that I've progressed a little bit um, because it would be nice if um, all of that pain <laughs> down there was doing something to my cervix so that um, we can get this thing going. Not that I want to go into labor next week or anything. I just feel like, you know, if I could just slowly dilate and then have a quick labor, that would be awesome. Um, but anyway, we'll know next week. I'm super excited to do my update for next week to tell you how my doctor's appointment goes Tuesday. Um, and then I just feel like a lot of heaviness, you know, down there too. It's just baby is getting bigger and bigger and I just feel like I can feel it. 
Um, and then um, I think that is it. So that is it for symptoms. Um, I said that um, just like my movements, bending stuff is making the lightning crotch type feelings worse. So um, especially today, I have been avoiding picking anything up off the floor, filling the dog's water bowl. Like I really need my husband to step it up when he gets home to help me with things because I just, at this point, it is so uncomfortable to bend and grab things. Like even just like switching out the laundry and getting the stuff out of the dryer. Um, and this is just my pregnancy symptoms. This doesn't mean that this is something that's going to happen to every pregnant person in the world. It's just for me, baby is low and those nerve pains, whenever I bend, is really uncomfortable. So um, I'm just kind of avoiding certain things. Um, anything making me sick, it's all the same, just the same things. Um, I actually have been eating um, marinara again like spaghetti stuff um, and it hasn't really been an issue um, but I'm avoiding all of the other things that I've been avoiding um, anything that I'm missing um, same as last week but I'm really starting to miss like good night sleeps and like just taking deep breaths and being able to get in and out of my bed and not have to pee every hour. That is really the most annoying thing so far about pregnancy. Um, and I know that when baby gets here that not much is going to change. Um, I mean, I'm going to be up a lot in the middle of the night and things like that, but at least my body won't hurt so bad. Um, trying to do all of that. It's just, um, you know, just getting, getting to me sometimes I get kind of grumpy about it um so moments this week I went to the doctor which I already told you um and she's going to do my 35 week growth ultrasound Tuesday and I'm super excited about that um and she's also going to be checking me for group B strep and checking my cervix as well so Week. I'm so excited. It's my first cervix check and I'm super excited about the ultrasound because it's been a really long time since we've had one. Um, and then I'm also excited about um, my maternity photos being edited. Um, those are going to be coming out soon. I still haven't gotten them. I just got the proof that I shared with you on one of my videos. Um, so I know some of you have wondered if I'm going to share those and yes, I will as soon as I get them in, um, and then movement for baby. Um, she is moving like crazy and it is not very comfortable anymore. It's like, you know, she's big and I'm running out of room here. So her movements are awesome because I love like filling her and knowing that she's just alive and kicking in there, but sometimes I'm like, okay, girl, you need to settle it down. <laughs> um, and this week I actually made the mistake of drinking some cranberry juice in the middle of the morning at 5 a.m. And I didn't think this was that big of a deal, but people say if you want to feel your baby move, drink like a cold, juicy drink or something. And I mean, I add a little bit of juice to my water and I sip on that throughout the night. But that's like a really small amount. I took a, like I stood in front of the refrigerator at 5 a.m. and took a big swig of cranberry juice. And let me tell you, if you want to get your baby to move, I'm pretty sure that will work because she was going so crazy and just flipping, flopping around that I could not go back to sleep. So I was so tired and she was just having a good old time in there from that. So I will not be doing that again because she moves and... I mean, when she's moving like that, there's no way I can fall asleep. So, um, that is fun. So movement is good. Um, and so now we're going to dig into some food cravings because I haven't really had these, but now I do. So I'm going to tell you some of the awful things that I have done this week and what I'm craving. So this week I, um, woke up in the middle of the night, had the cranberry juice. Um, and then last night, I was so hungry. Um, 
I woke up and had a cliff bar and stayed up for like an hour after that and just like drank some water and things like that. Um, and then at 6 a.m. when my husband got up, I asked him to get me a glass of milk. Um, and so I never drink milk really. I actually have a kind of a dairy issue, so I try to avoid milk. Um, and yeah, I was craving milk and oatmeal cream pies, which we don't buy oatmeal cream pies. I haven't had one of those in forever. Um, so that was really interesting. Um, and then I've just been craving like certain desserts that I've had before, like, um, like chocolate cake with icing. There's this, um, cake that I used to, um, serve at this diner I worked at in high school and it's called ding dong cake, like a hostess ding dong. And it, it's so good. And there's only one place that I know that makes it perfectly and it's like hours from here. So I was craving that. Um, so of course, um, yesterday I just dove right into my cravings and decided I would go to Great American Cookie and get some delicious chocolate cookies. And, um, I stopped next door and got myself an iced coffee. And then on the way home after that, I stopped and got a 10 piece chicken nugget from McDonald's, which is disgusting, but yeah, that's, that's how bad I've been this week. Um, but I'm also craving like, just like man meals, like chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes and like, just like big, big meals, like really delicious, awful things. Um, and I'm also craving Coke Zero. Um, so every once in a while I get one, but it's all bad, nothing good, um, which I still will eat salads and stuff like that, but it's like I had a smoothie and a salad this week, and it was like I was still hungry. It was like I never ate. Like It's like I just really want something really bad. So hopefully I won't gain too much weight these next few weeks because of it. I'm trying to like lay low on the cravings, but um, yeah, gotta watch out. Um, so that's interesting. Um, labor signs are the same as last week, really. I think just like the tightening of the Braxton Hicks and the fact that the baby's so low um, and the lightning effect that I get, um, I think those are indicators of um, things happening. Um, but I'd also say like the achy joints and just like my ligaments, I can tell like when I flip to one side or the other in the middle of the night, I am easily feeling like I'm pulling my muscles and my hips and things are feeling like they're like popping and getting out of alignment. Like I feel like my body hormonally is definitely doing things to prepare for labor. Um, which is not the most comfortable, but I'm glad that my body is doing what it needs to do. Um, my belly button is, um, well, my husband looked at it yesterday and he said, wow, I've never seen the other side of someone's belly button so close. Like, so it's not necessarily popped out. You'll see it in the belly shot, but it's definitely, um, there. Um, it's definitely not in. <laughs> Um, and there's like a little lip that you can really see through some of my thinner shirts. So there's that, um, wedding rings are still on, but I do notice that my, um, fingers feel a little bit puffier. Um, I used to wear my wedding ring on my middle finger and lately I've been wearing it on my ring finger and it's really like still loose, but it's not too loose. Um, so yeah, I think that, that my hands are definitely retaining some, some, uh, water or something. Um, and then my mood, just tired and grumpy from aching and excited, um, not motivated really to do anything but like eat and watch Netflix and sew things for my baby. <laughs> um, anything I'm looking forward to? I am looking forward to my doctor's appointment and seeing the baby girl. Um, my sister comes into town tomorrow and tonight we are actually going to a Christmas party for my husband's, um, work. And I'm really excited about that because, um, 
it'll be fun just to like get to know um, some of his coworkers. It'll be the first little thing that I've done with his job. Um, he just started working there this year, so it'll be nice to meet everybody. Um, but I'm hoping that I can hang because it starts at seven o'clock at night and uh, I'm just going to be so tired. I already knew it. My back's already hurting. I'm already uncomfortable. Um, but it's going to be at his boss's house and I feel like there'll be like a comfortable place for me to chill. Um, and they all know I'm pregnant, so they'll, they'll be nice. Um, and I'm excited about sewing some more things for baby. I'm going to show you in just a minute some of the things that I've made for her this week. Um, and then I'm excited about eating <laughs> and I'm excited about Christmas. So I am just excited. Um, so now I'm going to show you the things that I have made this week for baby girl. And I have a lot more that I'm making. Bell, stop. Sorry, that sound is so weird. It's a, a little toy that I got her for Christmas. <laughs> okay, so I made this little hat and also these little pants to match. They're like little footed pajama pant type pants, um, but they're made of a really nice material so she can wear them, you know, you know, she's gonna be a newborn, so. I just wanted her to look cute, even though we're not really going to be going anywhere. Um, and then I also made this hat as well, and I'm probably going to make a little gown as well. It's just like a little knotted baby hat. And then I made this gown for her. And I made a hat to go with that. I like the little knotted hats with the gowns. So I made one of those in that fabric and then I also made a pair of pants in that as well and just a regular little hat to match the pants. So I'm going to be packing all of these outfits to the hospital and now that I'm starting to make all this stuff I feel like I'm going to have to take some things out of her hospital bag and put these in and I'll probably make another gown for her because I've heard that the gowns are just so easy when you're in the hospital and at home in the middle of the night um, just to like change them quickly and all that. So I'm um, going to be making her lots more gowns and um, I ordered some fabric off of Amazon and I'm hoping that it is what I, sorry my dog is back there so looks kind of creepy. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be making more for baby. I have tons of projects going right now, so I will keep you updated on that. Um, oh, and I also made this little bow. <laughs> it's actually, um, not attached to anything yet, but I'm probably going to stick it on a little band and have that. Um, or I was thinking about attaching it to the hat. Um, so anyway, that is everything. So I am trying to make this video quick and to the point um, because my videos have been way too long lately. So I wanted to try and make this one um, a little shorter and I'll go ahead and jump in and show you my bump and that'll be it for today. Thanks. All right, so I will put the measurements on this video when I measure my belly, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's update, and next week's will probably be a lot more interesting because I'll start going to the doctor every week, and so each week from here on out is going to be a lot more interesting. <laughs> Sorry, my dogs are playing in the background. Hush. So, um... I'm about to throw something at my dogs. <laughs>
they always want to play when I'm trying to record a video every single time. There's a whole house in there and they want to be in the room that I'm in disrupting me and squeaking their toys. Anyways, so that is it for today and I will see you next week. Merry Christmas.